Okay, in today's setup, guys, I'm going to be getting you up and running with the very awesome Flycast, which is Sega Dreamcast emulator. I'm going to be showing you how to set up HD texture packs in order to make your dated Sega Dreamcast collection look like new games, just like you can see just here. So this is going to be a fully comprehensive guide, and if you want your Dreamcast games looking like this, check this one out. <laughs> Okay, for our start today's Flycast and HT Texture Packs custom setup guide. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation setup guides like this one today. That just means you get notified every time I release a setup guide and it also helps my channel out too. So we're looking at Flycast then today and how to actually add HD Texture custom packs. This is very awesome stuff. So we're going to start from scratch. First of all, what we're going to do is just head over and actually download the latest release of Flycast. I'm going to leave the links in my description for this today. And if we just scroll down, we're going to find assets. And under assets, because I'm using a Windows PC, I'm going to download Flycast Win64 2.2.zip. I'm going to just download this one. Next up, I'm going to head over to this website and download a HD texture pack for Legacy of Kings, Soul Reaver. So if I just go to download and just drop down just a touch and I'm going to download it using G Drive. And download. And download anyway. Okay, let me just remind you that Dreamcast games have lots of different HD texture packs, so it's really just a case of googling. Uh, generally, things like Soul Calibur, Crazy Taxi, so we're just going to wait for this one to download. And while this is downloading, I'm actually going to start setting up the Flycast emulator. So once you've downloaded Flycast, you'll get a zip folder. What I'm going to do is create a new folder on my desktop, so right click, new folder and I'm going to just call this folder Flycast and if I just drop this zip folder inside of there and go inside if I right click I'm just going to extract this so I'm using WinRAR you might use 7-zip or WinZip I'm going to go to extract here and we'll get one single file out of this but the reason I put this into a folder is that once we start using Flycast it's going to generate lots of files and folders and it just makes it easier everything's in one place so what we're going to do then is delete this zip folder now whilst we're still waiting for that HD texture pack I'm going to just go ahead and open up Flycast executable so double left click and here we go so if we look at the Flycast folder like I say it generates new files and folders so what we're going to do next just close down Flycast for now and what I'm going to do is go into the data folder and inside of here this is where your BIOS files need to go so I've got a BIOS folder and inside of my BIOS folder I've got three BIOS files so I'm going to just highlight these and drag those into my Flycast data folder and if I come back out and whilst we're in this data folder I'm also going to make a new folder so right click inside new folder and I'm going to just call this folder textures and what I'm going to do next, just come out and within the root of this Flycast folder, I'm going to make another folder and new folder and I'm going to call this folder games. And if I go inside of games, I'm going to just drag and drop my Soul Reaver game inside of here. And if we take a look at the Soul Reaver game I've got, this is actually a GDI file. So Flycast is pretty versatile. If you check out on the GitHub or on Wiki, which file extensions Flycast takes or accepts, it accepts quite a fair few file types. So let's just go out of this and what we're going to do next then is open up Flycast. Now we need to set some directories for this. So if we just go to settings and you're going to find content location. If we just hover on the question mark, as it says, the directories where your games are stored. So we just created a games folder in that Flycast folder. So we're just going to go to add. And from here, we're going to navigate to desktop. And from desktop, Flycast, 
and I'm just going to left click on my games folder and if I select current directory and just press done and as we can see it's also automatically downloaded the cover art for it which is pretty cool okay so my texture pack for my game is now finished downloading I'm going to just open up this RAR file and if I go inside a flycast just here I'm next going to go to data and I'm going to drop down to textures and this is the folder I need to extract so if I just drag and drop this folder out okie doke so we've now extracted this HD custom texture pack so what I'm going to do is just go back into my flycast folder and into my data folder and that textures folder I created just a minute ago I'm going to just drag and drop that texture pack inside of there and this is where your texture packs are stored so your texture packs generally have a series of letters and numbers just like this one and if we go inside of here this is all of our texture packs just here this is a lot of dot png images for our game so what i'm going to do next is actually open up flycast this time so I'm going to open up Legacy of King Soul Reaver. If I double left click on the image just here in my game, the game will boot up. And let me just remind you that if we press Alt and enter simultaneously on the keyboard, this will take you directly into full screen. So if I just open up this game now with default video settings. And if I press spacebar on my keyboard, we can actually fast forward games using Flycast like I'm doing right now. Monsieur, you are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. Not survive the abyss, Razier. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. I am destroyed. You are reborn. The birth of one of Cain's abominations. Okay, so as we can see, Soul Reaver. Is normal it just looks like a normal dreamcast game no video settings applies no texture pack supplies if i press select on my controller and let me just remind you that flycast is really good at automatically detecting your controller just like it's done mine this is going to bring up a little menu from here what i'm going to do is just go down to exit now what i'm going to do is go to settings again and this time i'm going to go to video and this is where we can start taking a look at video settings so internal resolution is at default 640 by 480 which is the native resolution of dreamcast what i'm going to do next is pop this one up to around times three and then we need to go down to load custom textures so just check this just here and what i'm going to do is just go up to done and if i start the game again Razier, you are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. You did not survive the abyss, Razier. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours i am destroyed you are reborn the birth of one of cain's abominations traps the essence of life and that raziel is the demise of nazca there is no balance the souls of the dead remain trapped i cannot spin and of course the further we boost up internal resolution the more definition is going to be applied to your game so i'm going to go back down to internal resolution and i'm going to bump this up just a touch more to 38040 by 28080 which is times six now let me just remind you if you're running a lower end computer 
Uh, it might struggle with these type of settings, but here we go. Done. And res them in the wheel of fate, they cannot complete their destinies. Redeem yourself. And I'm just going to press spacebar just to fast forward it so we can actually get into the gameplay. But just looking at the wood on the right just there, lots of definition going on. And what I'm going to do is just press select on my controller, and if I go to save state, cross great, and I'm going to exit the game. And this time, I'm going to just show you a very quick comparison. So if we go back to settings, video, and I'm going to actually take away the texture pack this time. So if I just scroll down and uncheck load custom textures, done. And if I boot up my game. This time, because I've just saved it, I'm going to load back that state. So just go to load. Cross great spans. As you can see there, by unchecking load texture packs, the textures in the game itself, it's gone very blurry, it's gone back to the original look. So next up, I'm going to actually show you another game. So very simple, just exit out and Alt and Enter to exit full screen, back into the window mode. And this time, I'm actually going to show you Soul Calibur. So this is Soul Calibur 1, and I'll leave the link in my description for this too. If I just download the HD texture pack... So this one's just over a gig in size, so just download this. So I've now got my Soul Calibur texture pack, and just like the Soul Reaver pack, this is downloaded into an archive. If I just open this one up, and I'm going to just drag out that folder, just like we did a minute ago. Okay, so what we need to do next then is just go back into the Flycast folder, uh, data, and of course we need to drop the texture pack for Soul Calibur inside of that textures folder again. And what I'm going to do next is just drag in my Soul Calibur game into my Flycast games folder. And here we go. Now if I open up Flycast again. And just like Soul Reaver, Soul Calibur's now got cover art. What we're going to do then is just start Soul Calibur without the HD texture pack. So settings and video. And I'm just going to make sure that loads custom textures is unchecked i'm also going to go back to internal resolution and just leave this at time six so what we're going to do then is open up soul caliber <laughs> Okay, by pressing select on my controller, I'm just going to go and save this right where it is, just here. We then exit. What I'm going to do, go to settings, video, and this time I'm going to apply loads custom textures. If I go to done, and open up Soul Calibur again. And of course, press select to load... This victory strengthened the soul. You win! Battle 2, fight! As you can see, the textures there are very clear. Uh, what we can actually do with Flycast 2 to make things look even better is just by going to settings, video, from video, we can go down to widescreen. Now, some games are going to look a little bit too stretched. Some games is going to look fine. This one in particular looks pretty good. So we're going to go to done and resume. You win. Ah! 
And if we go back to settings again and go back to video, we can even increase the textures. So if we just go down to texture upscaling, I'm going to boost this up to eight and go back into the game. And that's it for today's Flycast setup guide as well as including HD texture packs and as you can see through the footage in that video some very impressive upgrades just there to very dated Sega Dreamcast games. So if you like what you see today hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation setup guides. Also check me out on social media, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok but until next time stay retro. Thank you.